Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this video we're going to quickly go over how to export a 360 degree panoramic from Enscape. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm working in a pretty large file so what I've done is I've constrained a section box uh, around the area of the project that I want to render in this 360 panoramic. So to begin we'll go ahead and pick the view that we want to start with and click start on your ribbon. We're currently using Enscape version 2.2.1 and recently one of the updates that they've added is really convenient. If you go to your views, you can select this star icon next to your view and mark it as your favorite. And what that allows you to do is you can hover over this little tab on the right side of your window and simply click on the views that you want to navigate to that have been saved inside of your project. So once you have that set up, let's go ahead and go over how to export a stereo panoramic. On your Enscape tab at the top of Revit, simply click on Take Panorama. If you select this drop down, you'll see that you have two options mono and stereo. What mono is, is one screen where you can look around, you can view it on any smartphone, any tablet device, any computer. A stereo panoramic renders one scene for each one of your eyes, so these panoramics can be used in a Google Cardboard viewer. Uh, to give you a sense of depth and a sort of virtual reality feel to your space. So for right now, we're just going to do a mono panoramic. And once you click that, you'll notice Enscape will give you a, an update bar. And it'll show you how it's progressing. So let's give it one minute to crunch that. And once that progress bar goes away, you're pretty much done. Go back to your Enscape tab in Revit. Click on My Panoramas. And you'll see that it's grouped by project. So all of the panoramics that you take with this project will be saved in the same location on this menu. I'm going to click on the panoramic. And you can hover over the edges of that view to preview the 360 panoramic. Now to share this with your client or with anyone, what you'll first want to do is click on this cloud icon and upload that panorama to the cloud. Once you've done that, simply click on these three dots to do more. And you can either save that panorama to a file, copy the link address, QR code, etc. So let, why don't we just copy this link address. And we'll go to our browser. And we'll just paste that into the top. Once that's in, you'll get a loading screen. Let's go full screen. And then you can simply click and drag to view every angle of that 360 panorama. This is very convenient if you want to share a 360 view of a space and your client may not have that dedicated 2 gig graphics card that's required for a full Enscape walkthrough. And it's as easy as that. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for more tips and tricks.